love it. I want to pick it up and make a mud ball. Whoa, that was perfect. Good job. I did it All right, well, we'll have another chance. It's family garden day. We're splitting up today. The gentlemen are going to be making some seed planting jigs or templates because Nick Lux loves to have a jig for everything while the girls and I go down and prepare the beds. Here we go. An inch in, right? And then we're marking 11. 21, 31, and cut it at 32. All right. So that, we're going to have two that look like that, I think. Where is it? Okay. Do another one like that. Our other one, the uh, finger wants to be in between that at five, right? And at 10, 20. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Great big middle finger out there. <laughs> other side of that thing compost place they will be yeah we can plan it for now right yep now i'm really glad that i shoveled the snow off of these terraces because they would still have snow on them right now if I hadn't, but clearly today is the right day to be planting. Our focus this year is establishing the framework of the garden. Just as Nick has to do the frame of his timber frame buildings before he can skin them and make them beautiful, that's the work we're doing with our impossible farm this year. Tools. Perfect. So oh my what, gosh, so helpful. We just unified some of our systems and made a couple of tools that'll help us repeat it over and over. So we made this rake, which really is just for um, direct seating. It makes two different spacings of uh, furrows. So in our 30 inch wide beds, the spaces uh, three rows, 10 inches apart, or we can space two rows, 12 inches apart. And so that just makes our decision-making process that much shorter. Um, we have a couple of options to go with and uh, we do it that way every time. And we made this uh, dibbler for um, uh, putting out onion sets. Lift it up. Perfect! And you have uh, holes. This will also work when we go to uh, plant any of the, uh, what, the micro soil blocks. So this also is spaced 
10 inches apart and 10 inches uh, along the row um, and then they're offset from one another and it's nice because it's it's sturdy enough that you can uh, stomp it into the ground if you need to um, but you just lay it down and then you can oh my gosh drop Nick, into that. you're so genius when you go to pick it up these three holes land where these three were so it's a repeatable pattern you just work your way along the uh, 30 inch bed now i bleed right. away i left the plan up there should i go get the plan cattle panels cattle panels next yeah okay that's how far i can go walk in between the beds yeah. I may or may not like gloves right now. Yep. <laughs> okay. The pond is still frozen. Yeah, it feels like spring, but then you look out and you go, oh, things are still cold. From this view, it's spring. From this view, on the edge. it's winter. Yep. So we got a little tiny chunk of lettuce there. And then all of this okay. is onions that we did from seed. We also have onions that we're doing from seed, but we didn't have enough ready. So we used, a, we used right, sets so here. And, and then, then we've got okay. some carrots and some beets. And we've got all under the cattle panels, right up against the burn, uh, we've got sugar, snap, peas. So, and then we get to go up and yep, get warm. This is it. Oh. Yes. Are you going to keep working or? No, nope, this is it. You guys oh. help me finish. This is all we're doing. I mean, this is all I had planned. I am so glad. So, and then it'll be a week before we plant <laughs> the next the right terrace. So perfectly. The, the gardening push to get this in has been successful. Well, it's a couple of days later, but now I'm going to give you a walking tour of our spring garden. My voice has been going in and out, so please forgive me if I can't be as loud as I usually am. Just for context, this is one of six garden areas that I'm going to work on this year. No one of them is going to be at full production this year, but I'm just working through all of them. We wanted to get this planted in March because in April, I'm moving on to another area. So Nick did this beautiful little pallet tool corral and the other side is going to be for compost. We find that any place we want to work, we need a place to put the tools. And then we've got two terraces. I um, built these berms last summer with mud from the pond, but I've been adding to them continuously. I've dug out, I've dug out a trench here big enough for straw bales. We're going to draw up straw bales in this and grow cucumbers in that. But the rest of the beds continuing that way are for cool weather crops. A lot of potatoes and some greens that will be planted this weekend. So for two years in a row, we cleared the brush here and then either cleared the brush a bit away or the second time we chipped it and let the chips lie. Last fall, I raked and planted a cover crop of clover. It didn't, the co clover didn't do really well, but it did well enough. Just now I turned the clover over turn the soil over so that that clover won't continue to grow and I added soil amendments. We did a full home soil test and it needs everything. So we put in some, um, some lime and some blood meal and some bone meal. As I garden this entire property, you'll see me repeating one action, which is to create flat areas with a retaining wall on the downhill side so that water can soak down into the ground instead of rolling down across the surface of the mountain. The other thing you'll see me doing over and over again is creating south facing surfaces to grow plants on. So that's what these berms are. They're both the water retaining wall and the south facing surface. These uh, trellises which we can grow peas on and also we'll, we'll trellis our cucumbers up them. Um, will allow the plants to get as much of the sunlight going this way as possible. 
I don't really regret though that this area is north facing and sheltered because our summers are as hot as our winters are cold and this is a desert environment. So it's easy for plants to be burned out in the summertime and a dappled shade actually is helpful for some things, although you'll never see me grow a tomato. In, although you'll never see me pull off a tomato in here. So I'm really pleased with the spring garden which went in right on schedule and now we'll be moving on to Milo's garden and a terrace project. Yes, because we that's all we're planting this week. That's Birds and squirrels. It's really spring. That's right. The robin came to tell us it's okay to plant. And what do you know? We just did. Get my little house. 